This video is brought to you by KiwiCo. More on them later. Hey guys, Zadley here. Welcome back to my channel. And you have seen over the last two years the aerodynamic prowess of Christmas trees. But this year, for spooky season, we're gonna try it out with a skeleton. <laughs> Just roll the clip. <laughs> Shall we dance? It's lobotomy time. We want your Villain origin story. <laughs> this is actually a scientific quest in the discovery of how aerodynamic the human body is when blown up to 12 feet. Science. What do you think, Skelly Bones? His head's missing. He can't think. We're not spooky yet, but we're gonna do this and then we're gonna get spooky. Wait, we started. <laughs> Boopie. This is what we did instead of build the rocket. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what has happened? Snafu number one of this project is that this $600 motor case for a Skidmark M2080 motor is gonna be flying in a cardboard tube. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, life happens sometimes. <laughs> Okay, so the reason for the cardboard is that the supplier I purchased the three inch fiberglass tube I was hoping to fly from, super reputable rocket supplier, had a glitch in their system and not only were they out of stock and they didn't know they were out of stock, but also the emails saying they were out of stock didn't go out until I called the day before we started filming asking where the tube I ordered was and they were like, oh crap. So <laughs> it was too late for that and I called my friend Joe Bernard from BPS Space and asked if he had anything and he had no fiberglass, but he had a couple of short, cardboard three inch tubes lying around. So he Ubered them to us last minute or tubered them to us, I should say. <laughs> and I decided to just fiberglass overwrap them myself and like join them together with tape, similar to the way I did my level two certification rocket Fifi a few years ago, if you remember that here on this channel. But because this is essentially a flying sh post, excuse my language, my goal for the entire project was to buy nothing, waste as little as possible, and use as much scrap as possible. So I grabbed my basket of fiberglass scraps and we basically paper mache fiberglassed this thing together. And boom, I told you we would get spooky. Shouts out Goodwill Halloween section while the epoxy is curing. And while it's green, I'm just gonna cut off the excess, although I think I maybe waited just an hour or so too long. We're really just counting on like the feet to be bits and there'd be enough <laughs> like <laughs> cut the top of the spine off. Okay. And then we put it on top of the motor case. So we make steel bar like a permanent fixture. That art minor overriding the engineering degree. <laughs> Wait, Katie, why are we doing this again? Because I didn't read the drag time on the can! Uh, five to six hours? <laughs> Literally watching paint dry. <laughs> Fortunately, even witches need to be safe around power tools, particularly rotary tools. So what I'm doing is cutting the spine in half so that the motor tube can sit as close to the metal frame that is holding our friend Mr. Skelly Bones together as possible and then I will just glue the piece of the spine that we cut off over the motor tube which will just hide it as much as possible. I'm a spinal surgeon! <laughs> Call me for all your discount surgery needs! Cutting this three inch hole in the pelvis is also so the motor tube can slide through. And yes, okay, thrust is coming from 
where you're thinking it's coming from. Uh, we, we all eat Taco Bell sometimes, okay? could go all the way up to here. It could. I mean, is the rock, like do we want, is the flame a shark? <laughs> I, mean, I, the, was, I was assuming, yes. Okay. No, 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 cut the rest off the other side. Look, I know what you're thinking here. I'm thinking it too, but kids watch my channel. So everyone's gonna be good in the comments, okay? All right. Oh God. <laughs> um, for our next witchcraft, send a cutter. Again, since it's not a serious project, instead of buying something serious like an arrow pack, I'm just gonna laser cut some wooden centering rings out of scrap plywood and use those as motor retention. And like, yes, I'm gonna use an eye bolt into the threaded part of the motor, um, but there's no parachute, so the eye bolt's not gonna go anywhere. <laughs> First try! <laughs> okay, there you go. Just around the edge. Tell me what's happening here. Okay, so we are mixing some silica thickened epoxy. So it'll be able to hold its shape as it cures. Slatter in and see how much we can get in here. Since the epoxy is the only thing holding the motor tube in and the skeleton plastic is not super great to glue to, we just went absolutely ham with it and epoxied all of the things, like arches, everything. While that epoxy is curing, let me introduce you to the sponsor of today's video, KiwiCo. I'm super excited to be working with KiwiCo again because I genuinely think their crates are awesome and they've also become the go-to gift for all of the kids in my life. I'm like always trying to influence the kids in my life to make stuff, so it, it makes sense. It can be a monthly crate delivered to your door or individual kits like this one. From robots to rockets, there is something for literally everyone. From science and engineering to art and design, every crate is designed by an expert team to inspire excitement, curiosity, and moments of discovery, and then tested by real kids to make sure it does. And those experts range from industrial designers to ex-aerospace engineers. Over a thousand hours goes into developing every single crate. Plus, they all come with a kid-friendly magazine that empowers your kid to be able to complete projects on their own and dive deeper into the subject. The best part is the accessibility. It's super important to the KiwiCo team that all kids have access to STEAM education, and so they work really hard to keep their prices affordable. Most people don't realize that most KiwiCo subscriptions are as low as $20 a month. So if you want to try it out and support my channel, click the link in the description or use code Xyla at checkout to get 50% off your first month. That's kiwico.com slash xylafoxlin or use code Xyla at checkout for 50% off your first month. Now, let's get back to it. Get your motor out of the kit, check it, Clark. Uh, All right. I need my cape. Welcome back. I need my cape for this. <laughs> to integration yes. with Xyla. Today, Woo! we got our host, the ghost, the Soxley. I'm a witch, not a ghost. What I should go here. Go here. This is, a, this is me and Joe's redemption arc, actually. Is it? Yeah, it's the same motor. Oh my god, it literally is. It's yeah. literally the exact same motor, the exact same motor case. This is our redemption arc. Hold my hands. <laughs> that fly say it with me. You. you ready? Oh, no. I know that you know what I'm about to say, so we're gonna say it at the same time. Before we <laughs> put all the grains in the liner, you got it, you got it. Right? <laughs> Fish <Get> check! <laughs> this is deja vu. Bring it over, bring it over, let's see, let's see. Or look at that case. Okay, so it gets okay. a little harder at the end. Yeah. But this is accomplishable. Like, it's red, you know? 
It does look a little that way. You're killing it. Killing it. We're crushing it. This is rack science, people. Very light. Very light. You got this. I'm really ready to slide this uh, case on. Let's do it. Oh my god. Wow. One handed. In a good motor. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Oh, we are cheese. <laughs> oh, 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 okay. no. Should not see what's happening right now. <laughs> okay. Uh, where'd you guys get on real buttons? To mount the rail buttons to the spine, we were able to mount one to the coccyx, or the tailbone, but the other needed a custom mount. So to start, we bent our own U-bolt out of quarter 20 stock, or rather, George bent a U-bolt. It's like a little hand wave. <laughs> George also cinematically directed this shot for maximum spookiness, so please drop a thumbs up on this video for George. And then we slid a normal U-bolt backing plate onto our custom U-bolt that a rail button can be mounted to. For the tailbone rail button, tail button? Maybe? I filled in that area with silica reinforced epoxy for some added strength around where the bolt sits, slid the bolt in, and then tightened her up. It's lobotomy time! The 12 foot Home Depot skeleton comes with these really creepy eyes that blink, and we wanted to keep that function except that it's wired all the way from the head down through the spine into the pelvis where you can turn it on and off from like a height you could actually reach. And so Ben and Chatham's got tasked with moving the electronics box up to the head just so that there was no wires going through Skelly. Now completely self-contained. Since Mr. Skellybone's joints are relatively weak, I drilled holes and ran Kevlar lines and rope up through the like arms and legs which will hold everything to the body even if the joints break. In inevitably, when the joints break. All right, so now we're not going anywhere. A potential thing that could happen at Apogee because we have an easy mini on board. We could release him. So we could like pop something. Yeah. So whether it's like we blow the head off or we like just re release something out of the hand. The bottom of the trick or treat bucket has a card and the top is full of candy. So yes, that's, it just explodes candy. Yes. Yes. Yeah, that's so yeah. good. That's what we do. Yeah. yeah. Oh, they're huge. I mean, what's one more? Wait, I think we need Wait, one more. Wait, but what about the gummies? <laughs> Could I have that bucket, please? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. you need a bucket? Mm -hmm. I just, you're all the way over there. Oh, thanks so much. Yeah. So this here is our scope creep, sorry, I meant payload, and it's a little <laughs> Halloween bucket that Skelly's going to hold and we have our Easy Mini on the back, and so at Apogee, it will deploy an ignition charge in the bottom, which is the exact same thing that we use in like normal rockets like Spite to deploy like parachutes and stuff, and it's going to deploy the Halloween candy. <laughs> it's gonna be great. <laughs> and then we loaded her up and hit the road to far. And honestly, if you haven't caravaned a 12-foot skeleton with some of your best friends, you haven't lived. Are you ready to take us to far, Skelly? Someone put skelly bones on wiki feet, please. All right, candy deployment system has been armed. I think we're ready to go to the rail. Bones Brigade, let's get them out there. Thank you. 
All right, everyone wave. Wave hey. bye. Bye. It's alive. I'm nothing but good ideas, all right? Mr. Skellybones launch in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Happy Halloween! Too torched. <laughs> Cheers. Happy Halloween! Happy Halloween! Mm, not bad. It's a little warm. <laughs> Stopping recording. Mm.